For years, scenes like this have played out on 3rd Street near U of L's campus. This railroad bridge has really taken on a life of its own. In tonight's WDRB Sunday edition, WDRB's Travis Ragsdale and Marcus Green explain the plan to cut down on crashes at the can opener. Time after time, truck after truck, after truck, after truck. Every week and a half, sometimes twice in a week. 3rd Street near the University of Louisville is notorious. Known as the can opener, you can see why. Every so often, the railroad tracks above the road shears off the top of a truck. It happened just last week. Then it shuts down for about two to three hours as they offload whatever it is they have in it. Bruce Dodge is the president of Bluegrass Awning that sits right next to the can opener and he's seen more than his fair share of trucks getting stuck. So this has been an ongoing problem for this area for, for many, many years. The crossing is just 11 feet 8 inches tall. Most overhangs are 14 or 16 feet in urban areas. Back in 2010, the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet installed a height detection system to warn truck drivers of the low clearance. With the hopes of catching the overheight trucks before they get to the uh, railroad overpass. But that was only on one side. The Winkler Avenue side has no such system. Over the last three years, there have been about 125 collisions, with about 10% involving commercial vehicles on the side with the high vehicle warning system. On the Winkler side, with no warning system, about 25% involve commercial trucks. But Dodge says that only tells part of the story. Probably a third to 40% of them, they never get reported, they drive off. If the semi doesn't get too far under, first thing they do, put it in reverse, they back up. But now KYTC will add one of those warning systems on the Winkler side, approaching the University of Louisville campus. It's actually uh, two sets of uh, beams that go across the road uh, about 250 feet in advance of the sign. Break the beams, the lights start going off to warn drivers. They're actually placed such that when they get the, the message, they can turn on the streets that they get to. When a vehicle is detected over height, it actually puts an all-way stop on the signal and then gives the truck the opportunity coming in North 3rd Street to turn west uh, onto Winkler. Right now, that's actually restricted movement. The system is still probably a month away from being installed, but Dodge hopes it will finally dull the blade of the infamous can opener. Actually, one time, the, an owner of a truck came out here, set the driver out. I had to take him down to the bus station so he could get home. He got fired, so I don't know how many people lose their CDLs over this. Anything, if it cuts it in half, it'll be better than nothing at all. Travis Ragsdale, WDRB News. On our website at WDRB.com, Marcus Green explains why KYTC says it didn't put a detection system on both sides of the bridge 10 years ago.